Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack. Well, this time we've moved to a slightly more affluent neighborhood for a German model that you also are likely to see every day. Even the name is probably unfamiliar. This is the Bitter SC. And like most exotic cars, it reflects the handicraft and style of one person. His name is Eric Bitter, and he's been putting his various dreams on wheels since 1971. The Bitter SC is the first of his creations to really find a market here. And like all his efforts, it's based on mechanics of much humbler origin. Under this handsome Italian form steel skin, there's a lot of Opel Senator. Opel is General Motors of Germany to us. Indeed, the SC stands for Senator Coupe. But you'd never know it if you didn't ask. The bidder looks a lot more like a four-place Ferrari with a big grin. The first thing you notice about the bidder SC is its apparent quality. While most exotic cars have handmade bodies, that can also mean ripples and poor fit. The bidder's panels are stamped for uniformity. So what you lose in unique construction, you gain in excellent finish. Lines are smooth and appear seamless, with the huge headlight array thankfully apparent only after dark. Under the wide, heavy, but lightly sprung hood lies one of two Opel-based inline six-cylinder motors. The common block is cast iron, with a single overhead cam and multi-port fuel injection. The standard 3-liter variant is rated at 170 horsepower and 172 pounds of torque. Optional is a bored-out 3.9-liter version with 210 horses and a third more torque. That's extra power that many might think you'd need given the SC's 3,400-pound curve weight. Rear-drive transmissions include a 5-speed manual and a 3-speed turbo hydromatic, which is what most bidder owners opt for. The tone of the extremely tidy engine bay is expanded into elegance on the interior. The wrinkled leather reminds us of the Megabuck Maserati Quattroporte. It's warm, supple, and covers seats that are supportive without being too hard or shaped for a race car. The dash provides the expected Germanic control pod for the driver. The polished maple inserts and clear gold-faced instruments definitely distinguish the bitter from the more subdued interiors of any Benz or BMW. And as you'd expect for such an environment, other items such as air conditioning, cruise control, and trick Blaupunk stereo are also included. Things are just as elegant in the back, and due to the bidder's long 105.6-inch wheelbase, two tallish adults will find it reasonably sociable. The trunk is huge, even if the sill is high. And if you think your own bags will look out of place, Bitter will gladly sell you a special set of fitted bags designed to make maximum use of all available space. Thanks to Scott Proper and his Baltimore-based firm, The Motor Coach, we were able to spend quite a bit of time in this 3-liter automatic Bitter SC. We found that, like most expensive German-built cars, the Bitter's power comes on like silk, and you're propelled much swifter than your senses can tell. 0 to 60 takes 11.7 seconds, and a quarter mile is eclipsed in 19 seconds at 80. A quick kick down in the automatic proves that a 4.1 second 40 to 55 passing time would be more than a match for most American traffic problems. While the larger engine or the five speed would make it much more exhilarating, it really isn't necessary. With an all independent suspension, the bidder also handled much better than we would have expected for a car of its rather large size. With fast steering, there's a forgiving amount of plow and understeer. The rear end does tend to go light, but you can still control it, partly due to the wider 55 series P6 tires on the rear. 60 series are shooed on the front. So while the bidder is definitely not a car that can be easily tossed around the pylons, it does manage it with remarkable grace and prowess. The Bitter SC has an all-disc braking system that also lived up to what we expect from even the most nondescript German car. Stops were straight, although there was some uniform lockup on occasion. The pedal was very firm, and distances averaged 124 feet from 55. That's a short result. So the Bitter SC in total leaves a very good driving impression. You know, the only problem with driving the Bitter SC on American roads is that it's a car that feels better the faster you drive it. And with our 55 mile an hour speed limit, you never quite appreciate all of its high speed virtues. 
However, I guess it must be nice to know you could afford them anyway. Because while we did say that the bidder was not as expensive as many exotic models, it does have its price. $45,700 to start and $50,200 with the larger engine. For 85, the two-door coupe will also be joined by this four-door sedan. Also available with both power plants, its prices will begin about where the coupe leaves off. And that puts it just about in the same category as the 500 Mercedes. But it's even more exclusive since Bitter will only offer about 300 cars for sale here each year. So obviously you're not going to see a Bitter on every street corner. But something tells us that Eric Bitter's creations are status symbols that America's best-dressed motorists will soon be seeking a lot more of.